Alright, so last time, put the CPU on, put the fan on, put the RAM in. I was gonna look into the case, but the case doesn't have any, like, instructions or anything, and so yeah, I just have to figure it out. So I'm just gonna put a little more into the board. This is M.2 memory. It goes right into the motherboard. You don't connect it or anything. Just gonna open it up. My little knife. That I might have, might have lost already. <laughs> Found it. Has installation instructions. I don't think I need that because you, it's you kind of just slide it in and then push it down. If I'm pretty sure. So, gotta unscrew this, put, slide the thing in, push it down, and screw it in. Yep. Here it is, and it's super tiny. It's like a little USB stick. It's like paper thin. Looks like, I think it's for different sizes. I unscrew this and then put it in one of those spots. Goes in like this. Um, really want to make sure I do this right. I could just slide it in. <sighs> okay. That's where that screw is going to go. Okay. Hopefully that's plugged up right. Should be. Don't know how I could have messed it up. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and open the graphics card. See if I should just put that on. 
I think maybe in some cases it's hard to put it on. Put the motherboard in after it has a graphics card in it. But I'll see. GeForce GTX thing. Cool little box. Box inside the box. <laughs> Looks like another tablet. <laughs> it's got an install disk for drivers, apparently. Quick guide. That's about it in this big box. <laughs> DVD and piece of paper. Big file case. Yeah, right, here's the graphics card. It's a big briefcase. Okay. I think this just kind of goes boop like that. Hmm. Just kind of screw it in, connect the HDMI port or whatever. Okay. Let's go in the PCI Express slot. I think this should be right here. Qualified gigabyte. <laughs> Seems like it has some kind of mounting thing. And it's got little plugs in the ports. It's a little HDMI port and stuff. Looks like it has a cap right here. So it would go in like this maybe? Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna figure out how the motherboard goes into the case before I mess with that. Because I think, uh, because this is so big and heavy. It might like a twist the port if I don't like mount it right or something. Um, so the screws out there are pulling the back panel in. Glass just comes off then. Mm, clear. Mm -hmm. Now I figure out how it, this works. <laughs> it comes with a fan that's mounted in already. Should plug into the motherboard. 
Looks like it has screws for mounting the motherboard. Gosh. Well, I guess the first thing you should do is uh, mount the I.O. shield that comes with the motherboard. Just, just pop that into the back. It has holes for all the different ports of the motherboard. It's like good with. I think it just pops in. Gone too far out. Man, this is weird. Maybe it doesn't need to snap in hard because whatever goes behind it will hold it in. I think I just wasn't pushing it enough. It's got little dimples and I saw this popping out. I thought I was doing something wrong. scared of it pushing through the front but it's got a little thing that like helps protect it from doing that. I think maybe I don't need to push it in that hard. Well, okay. There you go. Now we need to get this part in. You don't want this to fall into the computer when you're already using it so. No. Oh. It takes a lot of effort. There we go. I think I got it. Yeah, everything's all popped out, huh? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Hopefully I didn't need to do that at last. <laughs> Doesn't look like the motherboard came in any, with that. Doesn't look like the motherboard came with any screws. So I imagine it's in this bag, full of many screws. So I'll just carefully pick up the motherboard by its sides. Put it back 
down. <laughs> Get this cord out the way. Stick it outside for now. Trying to line the ports with the ports. Maybe I should have taken the fan out first. They wouldn't pre install it if you have to just take it off anyway. Alright, that looks aligned pretty nicely. Set the mountain now. <laughs> Tons of different screws. I don't see if it says anything. Well, I mean, it's just whatever fits, I guess. Just have big holes in a motherboard for them. I don't think this does anything. I'll just figure it out. It's fine. Several hundred dollars of electronics. Measurable hundred dollars of electronics. I'll test uh, this screw and hope it works. <laughs> just kind of fell in so I'm guessing that one doesn't go there <laughs> oh I think it's the that doesn't make sense maybe it does <laughs> Man, Let's see if it shows anything. I just poured into my hand. Um, maybe this screw, this screw looks longer. screwing so it'll probably work
trying to screw it in straight. How do I do my screwdriver? This is really frustrating. Maybe you should cut the recording until I figure out how to screw this in. Um, so, took the motherboard out because I was having real problems with these screws. It's very annoying. The desktop didn't come with any sort of instructions. The motherboard doesn't say anything about screws. I mean, the instructions for the motherboard. I'm just gonna sit here and test the screws. I read somewhere before, this is my first computer. I read somewhere before that the first thing you should do is put the power supply in. Got a power supply, like converts electricity and all that, feeds it to the computer. And I think that goes into like this hole over here. So next time I start recording, I might have already done that because I'm having some real problems with this sort of thing. So put pretty much everything in. I've got some cooling fans, got the power supply. I have the graphics card because I'm not sure if I need to put that in after I've already put the motherboard in the case so I think next time I want to be recorded I want to be recorded maybe after I put a power supply over here and figure out which one of these stupid screws mount the motherboard correctly the screws screwed you tonight <laughs> man it's not gonna screw me going to bed right now just a little carefully uh, put everything in like bags that came in so they'd be nice and safe until then. I'll just keep working tomorrow. <laughs>